good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is about there. This reflects image and in this video I'll be showing you how I do clean my background and do my background extension. So in this video I won't be showing you any manipulation, I'll only be smoothing the background to the perfect way possible. So this picture was taken with Canon 60D 18 to 135mm lens and also a Godot's, S, Godot's AD200 Pro and the TT520 Flash in conjunction with two beauty dish. So those are the light setup I use for the picture. So I already did a little bit of retouch on the picture. I'll only be showing you the background extension and the auto smooth in the background. So and also I've removed my model from the background. I know basically almost all photographers know how to do that, but if you don't know how to do that, there are other videos down in my channel that will teach you how to remove background perfectly in Photoshop. So I'll be showing you how to extend and remove blemishes from the background there. So as you can see, the background is a little bit too small, and this is the area I want the, I want to fill the background with. So there are so many ways they usually extend background, but I have a specific way which is very very easy to use. So this is my model, I've already cropped that out to the background. I took my time cropping out this picture. So and this is the background layer. So if I were to start the extension now, we'll go back to our background layer. We have nothing to do with our model layer right now. So we'll go back to our background layer. We'll control J twice, control J, control J. So the one directly below our model layer, which is this background to copy, we are going to make sure we come to our rectangle marker to over here. This is the rectangle marker to over here. If it is not here, it's, if it is not here, it's going to be directly below uh, our pick two. If you are using, if you are using the Photoshop panel this way, but I, I duplicate mine into two, and also if you are using the photography panel. So once you select that, just make sure you select over this this post area, and whatever you do, make sure it's not touching your model. If not, it's going to drag your model along with you. So I'm going to shift it until it gets close to her, but I'll make sure it's not touching her skin or her outfit. So once I'm done with this area, let me zoom out. Then I'll click on Ctrl plus T. As you can see, it's going to show us a free transform tool. Then I'll hold down my shift key and I'll drag to this side. As you can see, until I'm no longer seeing the part I don't want anymore. So once I'm done, I will remove my hand on my mouse before I remove my hand on my shift key. So then I'll click on my OK. Ctrl D to deselect. I'll go to the left side also. I'll do the same thing here. I'll make sure it's not touching my model. Then I'll click on Ctrl T for free transform. Hold down my shift key. Then I'll drag until I'm no longer seeing that area. Then I'll click on my OK. Ctrl D to deselect. I'll do that to this down part also. Ctrl T. Hold down my shift key. Then drag. Then Ctrl D to deselect. We're done with the fixed aspect of that, which is the background extension right now. So the next thing we'll be doing is how to smoothen the background. We'll be blurring out this background, but before we do that, we have to delete our model. Our model now, we need to delete her from this background over here. From this background over here. Here's what I'm talking about. So this delay will just extend, right? So if I were to, if I'm to go to my filter now, click on blur, then click on Gaussian blur. Then pick the radius I want, let me say it's 36. I have to click on my OK now and to zoom in as you can see it blow out both my model which is on this layer let me turn off this layer as you can see it will blow everything out for me and that's not what I want so Ctrl Z to go back so what I will do now I'm going to delete the model from the background as you can see we already have our model selection at the top here once I Ctrl click on it it's going to load the selection back for me right now then I'll just go to my select under my select I'll click on modify then I'll click on expand I'm going to be expanding my 8. Once I'm done, I'll just have to click on my OK. Then I'll click on my delete key to delete my model from that background. So after that, Ctrl D to deselect. So I have to turn off all of that layer right now. As you can see, I've already deleted my model from the background. In the first thing we did, we delete the background from the model, right? So the other one is to delete the background. Is to delete the model from the background. So let me turn on all my layers back. As you can see. And the layer we just did right now. Let's duplicate it once more. Ctrl J to duplicate again. So this time around, you can now go to your blow, go to your filter, under filter, click on blow, then click on your Gaussian blow. So you can choose any radius you want now. I'll be using about 100 or so. Okay, I think it's one is okay. Then I'll click on my okay. 
but as you can see right now after we did this it already killed almost all the shadow for us and we love our shadow to be in our picture to make it look realistic as you can see right now in the foot where she's standing on the shadow is no longer there again it's there but it's not that obvious so we are going to be bringing back the shadow now how are we going to do that we are going to create a max on the area we just blood out now we we'll create a max on it then we're going to pick our normal brush pick our normal brush increase our opacity increase the opacity to 50 increase it to 50 then you click on your ok after that make sure your brush color is on black and make sure you're already on your max if your mask color is white make sure the brush color you are going to pick is going to be on black so increase your brush size and clean over the area you want to make the shadow to return back to clean over the area you want the shadow to be which is as you can see we already bring back our shadow which will make our picture more real more, more realistic enough it won't look as if we blow it out but as you can see right now we already did we already blow it out but the hedges over here is not looking all that small the color is not all that balanced so we are going to amend all that right now so for me to do that i'll click on the you know we already we already clicked on the max we worked on the max right now so i'll click on the image which is the background copy three then i'll click on my color picker over here then i'll sample any color i want i'll sample from any color i want so once i'm done i'll just click on my ok then i'll go to my gradients I'll make sure I'm selecting the second one, which is this, from this color to nothing, not the first one. So once I'm done, I'll click on my OK. So after you pick up your gradients, create an empty new layer at the top. Create an empty new layer here. Empty new layer. Then go to your gradients over here. Then drag from the top. Drag. Then do the same thing at the bottom side also. Drag. If the color is a little bit too much you can just bring down the opacity so it's going to blend in so that's all for today's tutorial guys thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe to my youtube channel and also turn on the notification icon if you have any questions you can contact me and i'll get back to you as soon as possible see you guys on my next tutorial one love